think this deserved a uh, much a huge build because I'm gonna there's sit your, back and just there smile. you go, QT Marshall. <laughs> you know, I think you know, I'll be the first to admit, man, I wasn't huge on the factory nightmare feud to start now i'm all in i think this could main event any event the these two teams or these two members versus each other i am all in you know uh they showed which i didn't know that qt marshall was undefeated in 2021 so far other than yeah which is very it's not surprising but i didn't know that stat which is great to hear you know you saw cody rhodes himself no pyro no glamorous entrance um and this match, man, I really enjoyed it, man. I, I really, this should have been a double or nothing kind of match. Personally, I think this is pay per view quality feud. Oh, pay per view quality keep guys, going. like keep going, baby. <laughs> you keep it, crayfish Marshall <laughs> over there. But man, I love hearing I you love talk this, it up. I did like this match, and it was it's the brutal man. Cody once again took a brutal lash from the weight belt. Uh, he's gotten so many lashes in AEW. I mean, if we can keep count. Um, this is like I said earlier. This is another great shot battle. Um, but QT Marshall, man, his body language and emotion in the ring—he's got so much confidence right now, and he's showing it. And he's really eating into this this heel persona and character. And, and I love it, man. And you're right, man. You're right. You're right all along. And I love this. Hearing this it. this like, turn oh, by man. QT is everything he needed, and then some, because it, it is him being the leader of the factory. <laughs> um with guys like a go-go when they come out and camarado and solo man this it's uh, starting to be an unstoppable faction i love it <laughs> isn't it obvious i mean just yeah. sitting back isn't it obvious that he's a, like he's a trainer isn't it just right. like when you watch qt in the ring isn't it obvious that this dude he, he by profession trains other wrestlers right. to be good wrestlers i mean i i get it i get it he he doesn't have the the, the look uh, or the maybe the charisma of a of a Kenny Kenny Omega or 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 even in this case a Cody Rhodes with like he doesn't have the the pedigree that Cody has and the butt and, cheeks and says the, Cody Rhodes the, the pomp and circumstance of Cody Rhodes, but it's so nice to see a guy like QT the everyman the the guy from Jersey baby coming out and and getting that opportunity to just showcase what he can do and, and what makes wrestling great and it's not just about you know if you could cut a promo which by the way my man qt marshall has been on an epic ride as far as talking the talk man the dude has been amazing on his interviews yeah. like that all his two was all his home road two i mean my favorite tv show of all time the sopranos it gave me those goosebumps where he like tony soprano talking to dr melfi you know kind of having those those private psychology sessions just like those therapist sessions Really gave me vibes of that, and again, sh- like I always love when my when the characters have motivations that make sense, and for QT Marshall to have the to to explain how he's been pr- really presented as Cody's coffee bitch, right? A guy who goes and get him gets True. him his coffee, gets him his bags, kind of undercut from the day from Young the day. Boy. From the day he entered AEW, really, I mean, and dude, you and I saw it. We were down there at Dynamite, like for Dynamite. You know, Cody had QT driving him to the hotel back then. Yeah, we right? did see him. We got, the we streets. saw, we saw QT driving Cody to the private hotel and his little fancy, you know. And so you see, like, there's a lot of legitimacy to QT's motivations, and You're and, right. and I love how he's leading this group of guys who are kind of tired. Like they're not just going to sit back and let these handpicked guys from Cody and the upper management team get their opportunities. No, they're going to take their own. They're going to showcase what they're made of. And I think no greater example of that is what happened at the end with Anthony Ogogo, dude. Like this is a guy, obviously I was rooting for my guy QT to win tonight. I felt like, um, it would have been an amazing match. But Cody coming back, the epic comeback that he had, we know what Cody's capable of. Cody is one of the yep. top guys, not just in AEW, but all of professional wrestling. The guy can put on a great match. If if he gra- if if he grabbed me in my bowling shirt, we could still put on a four star match. There's no doubt about it. Cody's just that guy. Um, Dude, that tri- that quadruple tombstone flipping thing was so well done. You know, it was so great, man. I thought the just that. I've never tried that or never plan on it, but it just seems so like 
you have to trust your partner and all that stuff, man. It was a really, really cool match. I, I don't want this feud to end, and I don't. No. Want, I want to see another one of these matches. You know, I'm glad to sure. hear that. I'm glad to hear it. I mean, obviously, and the shirt looks great on you, bro. Happy thank birthday. You. Thank you. Um, you know, I honestly look forward to rocking this a lot more in the future because this is a great look. And it is I a hope, great look. I hope you I got hope, your Raphael red. I, I like it. I, I was. I'm really excited. This is my color, Raphael red. I love it. Um, let's get into it though, dude. Like the match itself. We got to see a lot of personal back and forth between these two guys. You got to see a little butt cheek action from QT. <laughs> you got to see <laughs> Cody pull out and and ma- and he made QT tap right. I mean, he he mm-hmm. beat him with the figure four, which is a pretty right. convincing way to to put to put QT down for sure. Um, but Anthony came in and all it took was one punch to the gut, and and Cody was down on the mat. Um, I love that visual at the end with Anthony Agogo draping. Yeah, he looks the, like a million bucks, man. Draping the Union Jack flag over Q, over Cody. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, this is another example. We talked about it earlier on with with the elite. We talked about uh, the elite and John Moxley thing. We talked a little bit about that with the with the blood and guts with the pinnacle and, and inner circle. This feud is not over. The nightmare right. fam- the nightmare family versus the factory. This feud is not over. And I have a feeling that QT Soprano, this man is going to – this guy, he, he's not going to just take a loss like this laying down. I have a feeling that that he's going to be – that Anthony, Nick Camarado, Aaron Solo, those guys are going to be coming after Q- Cody and then some, especially after putting QT down for the first time in 2021. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's going to start getting dirty. It's going to start getting even more personal. I think you might see uh, the bus tip over. You might see, you know, so I don't know. You might take, you know, get personal for sure. So I like this that. is this is a pretty a good match. Like I said before, man, it could it could have been on a pay per view. It should have been on a pay per view. And QT Marshall is on a tear, man. 